You know what I think is cool? Speaking of diving, is that when you are diving underwater and the light is no longer hitting you and stuff, the colors drop off in the order of the rainbow. Oh. Isn't that kind of cool? What do you mean? So, like, when you are diving down in the water, in the ocean. Right. No, scuba, I got, I got Scuba that diving. Part. So, so as, the, the water as the yeah. light, yeah, it's like not on land. Yeah, 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 swimming, okay. but you're under it. You got it. Um, as you dive deeper and deeper, the light obviously is not, the sun can't go all the way down. So the colors drop off in order. What does that mean, the, the colors drop off? Is that the same reason why the sky is blue? It's like a similar kind of concept? So like longer wavelengths, such as red, orange, and yellow, are they're absorbed within about Around the first 50, 50 meters, meters of, of the, the ocean. ocean. Yes. Wow. Flat. In the shorter wavelengths, shorter like wavelength. green, blue, blue violet, violet, they're absorbed less yes. and are able to reach deeper, deeper. into the water. Okay. This is like first grade SpongeBob. Come mm -hmm. on. How does that help me make more bombs? Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. We've got Ethan Nestor today. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm doing a podcast soon. <laughs> really? Yep. Tell me about that. Tell us about this podcast. Yeah. Uh, it's not Chuckle Sandwich, uh, but I'll talk about it Thank on Chuck Chuckle Sandwich. You got enough of those. Uh, well, it's with Jack Septic Eye. Really? Mm -hmm. It is. You guys can come on. We'll have a set just like this. Wait, Same set, actually. What? Like in person? So he doesn't live in Ireland? Uh, he, well, no, he doesn't live in Ireland. He lives in Brighton. He hasn't lived in Ireland for like... A very long it's time. Always oh. yeah. It's always Brighton. It's always Brighton. It's always Brighton. Yeah, he and Tommy in it live together. They don't. <laughs> but they you, you could have had me like for a good <laughs> five minutes. You could have strung me along for so long. You did me a service by admitting a lie immediately <laughs> after you said it. You know, it. what do you guys think about Tommy in it? I think that he's too nice and too charming for his own good, and it makes me it makes me a little upset because he's very nice, super nice to be around. He's very funny. And I, every time I hang out with him, I'm like, ah, man, I like you a lot. You, You're great, and I, I kind of hate it. I, you haven't seen him take the roll the curtains back because mm. I've seen a side of him that is only I what I can describe as dastardly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. He becomes a real nuisance. A rapt scallion. Once the once the one. mask gets. Thank you. <sighs> I think the my thing about Tommy is that I, I find it shocking how uh, with it he is at the age that he was when he like first started becoming successful. Yeah. That has mm. always, you know, that has always shaken me to my core. Mm. Shook me? Always shook me to my core? Mm. Yeah, either of those, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. It has word. bothered me in an ancient and ancestral way. Ancestral? <laughs> like as in my ancestors were shaking when they learned ancestral. of this. Ancestral. Mm -hmm. You said incestual. Did I say ancestral? Yes, you I did. I think so, yeah. I thought I said ancestral. <laughs> You're kind of mixing them a little bit. Nuclear. No. Uh-huh. Nope. Um, nope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's mature. Yeah. He's not he He's up, not involving himself in incest, just to they, clarify, audio listeners. They grow up, that, well, yeah. we don't know we don't, that. Oh. They grow up, they, I mean, they grow up so fast. Because <laughs> <laughs> all, well, I had this theory on a podcast we recorded with Daily Dose, mm. and you you start a chuckle seeing sandwich these, or oh, a chuckle, chuckle sandwich, not my, not my chuckle daily sandwich one. starring Daily Dose, uh. where all these new wave of YouTubers that are like 16, 17, and mm -hmm. they're they're coming out of the womb already knowing, hey everybody, like today we're doing this. Mm -hmm. They grew up from like five years old. That's what they watched is that mm -hmm. era. And we didn't have access to that. There was we no. we weren't sitting down as kids watching, uh, you know, Mr. Beast style videos. No. We, we didn't have it. You know what I think is weird is that over specifically over the last few years with the pandemic, because so many people started streaming and like blew up over the pandemic. Mm -hmm. It's so weird now because how long have you guys been making videos? A while. Yeah. What do you mean when you ask that question? Like, like what is as like legitimate as like, oh, you're making money off of this? Or like, how long have you been trying to do this? Uh, how long have you been trying to do this? I've been trying to do this since 2011. Okay. That's pretty, pretty much the same year. Yeah. 
Yeah. Me, yeah. So I think I think this also specifically is because we started making videos first and then streaming later. But it's so weird seeing people start streaming and then transition to more YouTube stuff, mm -hmm. and then they're already successful, but nobody knows how to make stuff for themselves anymore. Yeah. Like no one knows how to edit anymore. Yeah. Or like make their own thumbnails. I know so many people who have YouTube channels and they're like, oh, I want to do this video, but it needs to be edited first. And in my mind, I'm like, fine, you just edit it yourself. And they're like, I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to use Premiere. Yeah, people are useless. Yeah. People yeah. can't do shit nowadays. I bet Tommy Wait, how did it. they get to that point then? Because oh. they just got successful quicker, probably streaming first. Oh, and then, it, oh, okay. I and see then, what you're saying. It's so yeah. much easier to blow up now On than it is than it has ever been. Right. You know, it so. used to be like a- Like TikTok? Yeah, So exactly. many people see that's how everything. Ram, that's how so, Rambo uh, came, like grew and eventually ended up on Dream SMP was because he had- TikTok? Yeah, he, he grew through TikTok. Hmm. Um, and then he had his transition onto like Twitch through there and he was promoting his oh. clips via that. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you hit it like that, and then all of a sudden, everyone knows TikTokers have to mm -hmm. go on to something else because you can't monetize that platform. Yeah. And then you, you're, you're well, just you already... Can, you're you can cool. monetize TikTok. You get 500 million views, and you get like $16. And a Snickers bar. That's true. Which is Or if you're in the UK, a Mars bar. It, wait, is that true? I thought a Mars bar was a different thing. Well, it is a different thing, but I, I don't know. I just didn't. I was in Ireland recently. I didn't th see a Snickers, but I did see a lot of Mars bars. Were you in Ireland for business or pleasure? I was. I was on a trip with my mom, so I would probably. The pleasure is a weird word. It was a. It was a. <laughs> <laughs> it was a. It was a family fun family trip uh -huh. with with my mom. It was like a present. I was. I told her in 2021 for Christmas. I was like, "Hey, you let me know a spot that you would want to go. Just mm -hmm. the two of us, because I'd done a road trip." moving out to LA with my dad so it was like it was already like a dad son trip under the yeah. mm -hmm. under the belt so I wanted to I got to keep things equal I got to make mm -hmm. sure that the you know the kids don't get jealous of each other are so, your parents still together yeah they are oh that's great yeah <laughs> are your parents still together no no what Long. happened <laughs> oh man it was rough I assume divorce yeah. well yeah divorce happened for sure um yeah I remember my uh they obviously were living together for a very long time when they still loved each other, and then my dad lived above the garage for a bit. Um, and oh, I so was it was it when you were like super younger? Like uh, I was fifteen when they gotcha. separated, but he lived above the garage for a bit, and he had like a futon up there and like a TV. And I remember going up there and being like, "Dad, is this?" Is this like a dream apartment? It's so cool. <laughs> like I asked him that as a genuine question. You must question. love living up here. Because <laughs> I was 15 and I was like, wow, this is sick. You got a TV up here and like an office and a futon. And I was like, is this your dream apartment? And he went, nope. <laughs> and then he walked away. Yeah, the way you talked about that, it sounded like, yeah, my dad lived above the garage. It sounded, for some reason, the way you phrased that sounded like he was doing experiments up there or something <laughs> while, like, he had, like, a bunch of chemistry. There was a big, like, uh, like weatherproof door. Oh, okay. Up there. It was, like, a big, heavy door up there. What let's, type of a let, garage was this? Yeah, let's talk about that. It was, it was just the room above the garage. It was, like, where the laundry machine was. I'm creating such an insane schematic of what your this household was uh, like you grew up in massachusetts i did i feel like um it would be described when i was younger as a playroom Ooh, okay mm -hmm. uh Are you familiar with a playroom no do they I'm, have those in i'm new gonna york? have to be no. real with is that where you grew up? Yeah, yeah i grew up yeah. in new york no this hasn't made things easier for me this has no? made things more fantastical it's starting to uh, because i'm only hearing about the garage and i'm hearing additional rooms and purposes <laughs> above it so it's starting to kind of like <laughs> emerge yeah. as like this so, sort of like harry potter weasley house in my so head the, the garage is attached to the house okay so you can get to the room above the garage from the second floor of the house well, okay. you just have to go through the the mess hall and, <laughs> yeah. the, and the ballroom yeah and the, and the and southeast the, wind yes. and, the, and the room of a thousand doors uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know it's a, it was a a playroom for a while okay. and then it was an office and then my dad's dream apartment <laughs> so and there was yeah. dreams floating around uh -huh. and you could catch them with your yeah. hands and then man yeah so how did you get to narnia Ooh, well that was a different 
Uh, that was a different door because like there was question, there like, was a, <laughs> there was a door under the staircase in the basement. I'm so sorry. You had I'm a so Harry sorry. Potter I'm door. So sorry. Are, is that is that a real thing? Did you have a Harry <laughs> Potter door in the yes in the staircase? That's cool. Yeah, it was just where my parents put like paint and stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you had the you had the playroom, you had the paint mm -hmm. room. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Wow. Had the is your is your sushi here? Yeah, my sushi's here. Okay, we can pause for a second. I'm so sorry. Well, no, I don't. We don't need to pause. Just keep going. I'll, yeah, I'll you're right. right. I'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we can get pause his... until you get back. No, 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 no. Tucker, can you make an wall. official announcement that Schlatt is leaving to get his sushi? Just Can you just say that into your microphone just to make it official? Schlatt is leaving to get his sushi. Thank you, Tucker. Uh, hey. You want other rooms that were there? I'd like to learn about these rooms. Yeah. Okay. What, so, so what was your favorite room in this house? So this was my childhood home that I grew up in. And then when my parents stopped loving each other, we sold that house. Okay. This um, was in Maine. Maine. Okay. Yeah. Um, this was in Maine. Uh, there was my room. Okay. There was my brother's room. There was my parents' room. There was the playroom slash office slash dad's dream apartment okay okay yeah and then downstairs there was uh the living room oh, okay. and the dining room and the kitchen and then there was a basement because it's the northeast and we have basements that's something that i've noticed about being out here that sort of basements. disappoints me in an ancestral way mm. as opposed to incestual mm -hmm. uh that because there's a certain level of charm that comes from a basement. Because you've got two types of basements mm -hmm. growing up in the uh, in the Northeast. You've got your friends' houses who you're like, "Oh, well, let's go down in your basement," and they're like, "Oh no!" Because then you open the door to their basement, and it's just like a descent into like yeah. the like like Blair it's Witch a, Project, like chaos dust. I'm back everybody! Ah, uh, <laughs> like, back everybody! Wow. Are these me? <clears throat> Oh no! I thought we could split it. Oh, we can okay. split it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Um, and then on the other side of it, you've got uh -uh, the people. Uh -uh. <laughs> what have you eaten today? Have you had any peanuts today? He's like yes. deathly allergic to peanuts. Okay. I'll, I'll have to eat this one. I'm oh. so sorry. I wish I could have done it for the bit. You looked at him so long as you were eating that. <laughs> no that was awesome. No sharing. That was beautiful. Um, that was $20. <laughs> really? What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Was That's that the crazy. only thing you ordered? Yeah. Wait, no, I thought you got crispy rice. Not. Was it actually? I thought you got a whole thing of crispy rice. No. I thought you got four things of crispy rice. Oh. I just wanted to buy you sushi. Oh. So we could split it, man. I thought the whole thing was you were like, I really want crispy rice. No. And then you man. added four of them to your cart. Oh. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. To finish my thought before we move on, though, mm. and then the other side is you got the unfinished basement, folks, but then you've got the people who are like, oh, I've got a finished basement. And mm -hmm. down there is like a wonderland for some of the kids who had the big houses. You mm -hmm. know, they got the ping pong table. They got oh. like the, and that's where all the best sleepovers ever happened mm -hmm. was like, because then you could go down there and they've got like their little, their little plastic box of Nerf guns and you're doing Nerf battles and stuff. And the basement for sleepovers was great because then... They're like insulated too. Yeah, and noise never escapes. And the parents usually, because a lot of the houses in the Northeast, I feel like are are two story. Um, yeah. And so there were two floors of separation between the sleepover and mm. the parents mm. supervising said so sleepover. Not a lot of noise mm -hmm. could come out of there. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. It was great. Yeah. I miss it. I think we can't have basements in California because of. Earthquakes? That's an earthquake thing. Yeah, we got, I think so. Is that confirmed, Tucker? Yeah, that's confirmed. You gotta bring <laughs> that. You gotta bring that microphone up to your face. You're not getting any. Uh... Yeah, you gotta have it Jesus. in your mouth. The sure oh seven. man. Yeah, it's because of earthquakes. Thank you. Yeah, we don't have them in Texas because it's all sand. Uh, yeah, we live in the desert. Uh, hmm. hmm. You got. Uh, you have a lot of guns there, Texas. Yeah. Yeah, there's enough. If I come to Texas, uh, will you take me to shoot cool guns? Of course. Cool. What do you want to shoot? Anything. People or? Well, I was thinking more targets. Targets. Okay. Well, there um, is a special thing you could take on. Tanks. Or I would love there's to. Tanks. I was there's thinking more like uh, 
a production of bacon at a oh, faster rate. Oh, shit. We're talking about that. Oh. So, look. I've been trying to find a buddy to mm -hmm. do this with for mm -hmm. a while. But every YouTuber I speak to yeah. is like, uh, uh, the optics, the optics of the situation. There's a company called Heli Bacon <laughs> out in College Station, Texas. Oh, there we basically, go. No. Basically, no, Ethan, not. you go up in oh a God. helicopter <laughs> with all your buddies and you shoot feral hogs with machine guns. <laughs> Look at them go. Oh, my God. Are they invasive? Yes. <laughs> Very. Oh, my God. There they are running. They've got, like, they drone footage. On the website. Cinematic drone footage of the, hogs running for their fucking to, lives. You can go to the FAQs, and they're like, yeah, the, the governor says you can do whatever you want to these fucking things. Can so. we read through these, these FAQs here? <laughs> the FAQ. So we've got about helicopter hog hunting. Can we read that one? There's how, that first how one. How expensive is this? This seems I like a lavish know. experience. I, they they can take care of you as much as you want i assume they do all night they do like a weekend of hog hunting if you want to pay that much i don't know how much it is but okay so texas state law allows for the targeting of feral hogs and coyotes by a paying hunter from the from the aircraft all other species are prohibited okay they do night crawls too whoa they put night vision goggles on you and thermal optics and, and shit yeah and then it's you like modern warfare too but yeah, just versus pigs yeah <laughs> Jeez. Um, How yeah. many hogs can I shoot? They've got a. There is no. What does that read? Can you read that? Can you read there's that? There's no bag limit. That's nope. like the term for hunting. Oh, okay. There's no bag limit. Yeah. So wow. they're only they're only limited by their available flight time and being able to find hogs. Yeah. So you can kill as many as you want <laughs> as long as you don't run out of ammunition and you can find them. Um. So I will say, as as a person who currently has a, a rat problem in my house, which is unfortunate. Uh -huh. um, I can't even really kill rats without feeling bad. Oh. Um, okay. And so I don't I don't think that I'll take you up on the, the hog trip, unfortunately. It's always the same the same speech I, I get, you know? I know. Well I one of these days someone's gonna bite. Perhaps I could make an will. argument for it in the in the sense of a uh, baptism by fire, you know? Mm. Like, would you, maybe you wouldn't choose it of your own volition, but perhaps you could give Schlatt permission to kidnap you at some point, and then you show up and it's like, you're in a helicopter, where am I? Take this gun, those hogs, they're gonna kill your dog. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, okay, you got motivation. You're a little bit delirious because you're like on, mm -hmm. like you've been chlorophylled or chloroformed or whatever. Um, and so you then kill those hogs and then sort of that bloodlust is opened up. I also imagine that maybe you'll be feeling a little bit more like a killer after you have mm. finished your fight. This is true. In creator class. Nice segue. That was good. Because nice. um, by the time this episode comes out, you will have fought. either either fallen or risen yes. in victory this in creator true. clash too. Um, How's that been going? It's been going. It is so much training. Uh, I train six days a week. Jesus. Two to three times a day. Um, what? Are you training yeah. today? Did you train before this? No, Sunday's my only day off. Oh, Because wow. of the church. And you've chosen lot. to hang out yeah. with us fucking assholes. I know. There I am. Wow. The one in the green on the side. That's me. There you go. Oh. What is this website? Is this a betting website <laughs> that you've got up here? Oh, are these odds? Ooh. Wait, yeah, what are the uh, what do we got here? I don't think I'm Whoa. Oh, I am not favored to win at all. Whoa. Look at that. Wow. You see that? 88% of people think you're going to lose. Uh, but for the 12%, if you bet on me and I win, then you will win way more money. That's true. Isn't this true? This is true. true. Jarvis was favored against people thought he was going to lose too. I was on the same website yesterday. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, what website is this? I can't read this it. This is uh Topology? What is it called? Tapology. Tapology. Oh, it's probably like a fight website that yeah. with the tap. I don't know. Wow. So who is the, your who is your opponent? Who is this guy? This is Leon Hart. He's a Pokemon YouTuber. So so uh, a you're lot gonna of... let you're gonna let yourself lose to a Pokemon YouTuber? Not surely not. <laughs> no, surely not. So a lot of people um, have seen this man from um, well, obviously his videos, but. His like, his big video. He did a bunch of stuff with Logan Paul. 
mm. back in the Pokemon days. But also, oh. he was there. Do you guys remember where there was that like four hundred thousand dollar box opening? Um, oh, the like that were Logan Paul got like scammed for that yeah, certain amount of money. He was there to like confirm if they were real. Oh, or not. and he was like, "Nah, mm. those are fake." Damn. Um, that but yeah, he makes, he, made bu- he makes a bunch of Pokemon much. videos. I bought a bunch of Pokemon cards from him. Wow. Okay. Um, he's a great dude. He's very, he's very awesome. How he's do you family. currently, I mean, obviously you, you want to be positive going into mm. this. How do you, how do you feel about like, how did you feel at the beginning in terms of, cause when you, when you chose to agree to the fight, surely there was a certain level of you, level of you thinking, oh, you know, yeah, I could, I could get to a point or. Mm wherever where I would have a, a chance. I was very nervous when uh, Ian and Nisa pitched Lee to me initially because I was supposed to be in Creator Clash 1. Right. But then I had to drop out because I was on tour and I wasn't going to be able to train. And so I was like, if you guys do Creator Clash 2, I'll definitely do it. And so from the get-go, I was already in Creator Clash 2 and they were like, what about... Leon Hart and I was like, "Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. can you look up? Can you see if there's a photo of Lee with his arms? He has very big arms. Ooh. Show us his juicy pectorals arms. too. Mm-hmm. He does have big pectoral muscles. Wow. Okay, perhaps, um, perhaps, yeah, one with both juicy arm pectoral. Does mm-hmm. he do Ninja Warrior? He Is did do it? Ninja Warrior. Oh, mm. uh, he fell on the fir- first obstacle. Okay, oh. so so at least there's no obstacle course that you have to." navigate no just flurries of punches or whatever you know right flurries um, that's a great description yeah, it's a little uh, whoa do you think that he's learning anything from the pokemon that wear boxing gloves <laughs> like the their moves and like what is I it my champ i think there's only one yeah I yeah think it's, uh yeah wait no that's my champ right. doesn't have boxing gloves on hitmon champ who, who am i does. thinking of right now tucker Hit the Pokemon? Lee, the boxing glove ones. It's not Hitman. Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan? Yeah. Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. These aren't real. Well, I mean, but... Pokemon? Yeah. I mean, well. you're talking about this this guy who opens little pieces of cardboard for a living and mm. and really gets really happy when one has some sparkles on it. You, mm. you think you can't or a different beat the color shit out of this normal. pipsqueak? No, I I feel good now. Okay. I was afraid in the beginning because his arms. So you do, See if so he you has do. fitness okay. photos, or a thing where it really shows his. Or arms like, look up, beefers. look up his username and like, uh, what's it, what's his name? Uh, Leon Hart. Leon Hart. Leon Hart. L L E O N H A R T. Leonhart Leon Hart shirtless, sexy. Uh, beast man. Beast man. Nipples. Nipples. Mm-hmm. Areolars. Areola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, here we go. Yeah, All right. here we go. Here we go. So he used to he used to lift a lot. Wow. He had to tone down the lifting because he had to lose weight for this. Wow. Um, okay. Because he had to lose, I think, about 15 pounds or something like that. We're fighting at 155. So he brought a Pokemon ball to the gym. Mm. And he's wow, okay, yeah. But you have your. Lo- I've seen <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> is that? A man shirtless with an urn? <laughs> <laughs> That's a trophy. Oh, I it's an urn. Funny. Shirtless oh. celebs dot com. I thought that was an urn. I've seen you on there. Oh yeah, it looks like an urn. Why are you on there? Just move on. Then. Okay, you're uh, on it. Apparently, according to Tucker, oh, apparently, yeah, he's on there. Pull, can we pull up that clip? That right? yeah, Come on, guys. I, guess I guess we're looking into it. Click into that website. No, okay. Like. So let me. Let's. Uh, oh, wow. 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 I thought that would only be for guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't need to see that. What? Well, Raid Shadow Legends, are you over 18 years old? Damn. Okay. Wow. Anyway, we don't need to go to the shirtless. I can imagine. Yeah. Um. What were. The, the, the fight. The fight. The yeah, fight. He's yeah. got big arms. So he's, he's coming in. He's had to malnourish himself. He's mm-hmm. all weak. He also just had a baby, which I'm really hoping works in my favor. Right. So his body's still <laughs> recovering from that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. And he maybe will hold back a little bit. Yeah. Maybe he'll yeah. even quit performing because he's like, 
I have a child. Yeah, he's. I need to be home. But he now, he has something to fight, fight for. for. Yeah. You know? Shit. You're not. You're not gonna like kill the kid. Are you killing? You. You have the kid. In your Hostage? <laughs> well, no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps um, we could add a little bit of a flair to the fight if we maybe uh, put the child in a cage floating yeah, and above slowly, the, the, like, the ring. It. Yeah, oh, and then we could take Spencer, my dog, and we could do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So we both have something to yeah. look up and be like. Maybe know. we could like even get them on like some sort of motor so the cages are like swinging, oh. you know, to make it look a little more dangerous or mm -hmm. something. Um, Hmm. Or, I mean, we don't even need to have them right above the thing. We could have it, like, on one side, we could have one over a pit of lava and the other side of a pit of lava or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, like... And then whoever wins, the other, they just cut it, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then they fall yeah. into the lava. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I like that. Would you be more upset if Spencer died or if your opponent's child died? Spencer. I have no attachment to this child. I knew it was an impossible <laughs> question, but it's so funny that that's so you did. <laughs> <laughs> um, you you've gotten really freaking ripped though over Thanks. the course of this. Like you have gotten shredded. Thank dude. you. How are you feeling? Like, do you feel like? Because I know that whenever people get in really good shape, mm. they're like, "What are you doing? What are you looking at?" He's like looking at your back, like he's trying to see your like, your your traps My, I or don't, lats or. I don't know the names of any of them. Yeah, I know the traps are here. <laughs> Bicep. <laughs> um, uh, I know a lot of people when they get really ripped, they're like, "I got so much more energy and stuff like that." Is that true? Were they were they lying? And by that I mean like big I have, fitness. I don't feel like I have any more energy. It's very mm. flattering, by the way. Thank you, Ted. Uh, hey man, you, you posted them. Posted a little thirst on, trap on, on, on Twitter. I'm saying, went, hey. I'm saying, hey, um, when? when? A little bit ago. Uh, the. Uh, energy thing I don't feel like is real at all yeah. because I train every day and then I feel exhausted and I can't do anything right uh, so other than like just the noticeable change in your body like has there any been it has there been any like sort of positive results has anything gone well in your life since you started working out is uh, it all just a scam uh, it's all kind of just a scam I just feel tired all the time is what I feel mm -hmm. uh Will you pull up a uh, pull up uh, Ethan Nestor thirst trap? Ethan Nestor shirtless, sexy. Uh, oh, that's me as a child. That's you, I mean, as a child, Tugger. So that's not the thirst trap. That yeah. is not. The no, thirst no, trap. yeah, no. Um, a little strange. You need clarification on that. Look at that. Yeah, there I yeah. am. Yeah. Wow. Make my nipples bigger though in post because I yeah, am Scott, yeah. self conscious. About Enhance it. on the nipples. Can we make those nipples areolas? The areolas. Why would you want your nipples to be bigger? Well, I feel very self-conscious about my nipples. I feel like I have very small nipples. I don't think that there's anything wrong with small nipples. No? I don't think so at all. Thanks. I think that... Appreciate it. I, th I think, personally, I've got little little tiny baby nipples, too. And I think that, mm -hmm. you know, when people have pepperoni nips, it's like, I don't think that's preferable. Mm. How big are your nipples? What? What? You're talking How about big? your nipples? How nipples big are your nipples? Right. Totally zoned out. Um, big? Medium? Oh, they're huge. Pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you whip those out oh, when yeah. you're uh, hog killing? So what yep. are you looking at in this photo, That'd by the be way? Good. What am I looking at? Yeah. Everybody keeps asking me. I don't know. Are I was you just looking, looking up because I don't know how to pose. Uh huh. And I also was like, I don't, I, I don't know. And I also hmm. feel wildly uncomfortable. Uh, look. <laughs> <laughs> Do you look great though? Thanks. I mean, I'm sorry. I, we can we can move on from this if that's. <laughs> Did you? So have this you one. ever had abs before? Yeah, I was a gymnast for. Oh right, yeah, 10 we saw the. Years. Okay, so you so you knew you had the you knew you had it in you when you when yeah. you started that you could just get to this point of I could physique. Get the I got that dog in me as yeah, they you say. Got, you got them no, you, you got there's them. two wolves. Two Everyone wolves. has two wolves inside Every, of them. Yeah. Yes. What's the deal with the wolves? One's gay or something? What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> both could be gay. Could, both could be gay. One could be gay. Yeah. One, the other could also be gay. Okay. Um, one could be, I don't know. Yeah. So, sorry to get back on track. Both, both of you in this fight have an athletic background. We do. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, because he lifted a lot and he did Ninja Warrior. Mm -hmm. um, but neither of us have ever fought before. Right. It's right. the first time. So you both got endurance probably. Yeah, he's he's ten years older than I am. 
Wow. So I hope that that'll be it. Slow him down a little bit? Yeah, for me. Uh, but he's bigger than I am. Mm. As you saw before, he's got those big, big beefer right, right, arms. Right. Do you and think, he's a little taller. Do you think you're smarter than him, though? Surely. Uh, he's a lawyer. Or he's a lawyer? <gasps> yeah, he, is a, he, is, he was an attorney at one point for mm. something. I can't remember what kind. Since the fight will have been over by the time this is out, what's your secret sauce you think that's going to... Honestly, actually, that's something we could definitely talk about. Like, Because yeah. the fight will have been over by the time mm -hmm. this... So, like, if do you have, like, a plan going into this? Yeah. I was talking to my coach about this the other day because I... My coach has been boxing for 35 years, wow. and we were talking about it, and I was like, what do I... What should I do? So he thinks... That Lee is going to come out swinging. He's going to come out pretty aggressive okay. and just do a lot of volume immediately. Mm. And so he wants me to just kind of bounce around a little bit, move out of the way. Let him throw, tire himself out. Yeah, let him tire himself out. Throw a couple of, of like defensive punches. Throw some shots to the body. Um, and then in like third, fourth round start bringing in the, the heat. So you guys must have been focusing on like endurance based stuff. Yeah, a lot of endurance, uh, a lot of me pushing his car, which is Whoa, been awesome. What? Yes. Yeah, do you do like? Uh, does he have you do in uh, suicides? Yeah, sometimes I hate them so much. I remember um, that was like a big thing when I was doing basketball because a lot basketball is a lot of just you know run from running. one side of the court and back That's to brutal. the other, which is yeah. I feel like is one of the more similar types of exercise that you could have with. Can you dunk? No, I don't have the jump Can skill you for that. No. Yeah, I'm jumping and it's like, it's like looking like a like a little tiny man yeah, who's trying to jump. It's... I, I don't think I've jumped in like five years. <laughs> you don't think you've even attempted to no. jump in five no. years? What do I need to jump for? Uh, I've yeah. got everything at my eye level. Would you jump at a hog? No. Yeah, would you jump at a hog? Jump what kind at of, a hog? What kind of guns do they have in the hog ship? The they way. have a lot of ship, a lot of yeah. uh, a lot of it's rifles, an alien vessel of rifles. Yeah. I think they have. Uh, Do they have like a mounted gun? I think on the they side? have a Browning, like a, yeah. yeah, mounted gun that they can that they bolted onto the. So helicopter. you can literally take the weaponry that we used in Vietnam and just use it against yeah, a bunch well, of. Yeah, what Do else they have they, that we, Vietnam song it's not playing like, on the helicopter the whole time? I'm sure they can. That would be. Cool. It's not That'd like they're cool. using it anymore. You play some credence. Yeah. Right. You record it and we put it on YouTube. Fortunate Son by Creedence Clearwater Revival. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, I just I wouldn't want to kill a pig. You know, it may it would make me sad. Yeah. That's like but not think, high on my well, list of things I'd be unhappy killing. Is mm. so riddle me this. Mm. Surely there's 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 a moral aspect here, right? Mm -hmm. With the with the hog killing. Surely, if you knew the reasons why killing these hogs is important, that you would be morally obligated <laughs> to oh, go man. and kill these hogs. And it was would be sort of like a mission of um, Tucker. What's wrong? Why why are we killing these hogs? What's wrong with these? They things? they're invasive. Yeah, they're like they hyper invasive. They they're, kill other animals. They eat through crops. Yeah, they decimate uh, like the local ecosystem. Decimate. Uh -huh. mm. They're an environmental science major. What do you think? Oh, I'd do it. I told Schlatt I'd do it, but he didn't give a shit. He was in the Marines, too. So, oh, I mean, yeah. I'd like, like to do it. Literally two parts of the equation, or both parts of the equation, which is an environmental science major and a Marine um, <laughs> that would just, like, I don't think I could think of someone that is more in the demographic of that service than, yeah. than, than Tucker here is. That, does that sound like a super fun time? Yeah. Yeah, I've wanted to do that for a while. He looks like look at his eyes. Like he looks <laughs> <They're> so sparkling. <laughs> like, yeah, they're I can sparkling feel it. with desire right now. Like I don't yeah. think that you could. Yeah, yeah. I I would pay it to do that. You, you wouldn't feel one, bad about the pop those, one bullet those in hogs. Kind of stumbles around. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I think if I could wear well, you got a big, what are you doing? Big everywhere earmuffs, out of my costume. Big earmuffs, so I don't have to. Because I was at home the other day because I've been trying to humanely. Deal with the, these rats yeah. in my house, and then the the man said, "Listen, we're not getting enough rats. I need to put out some some snap traps." And I was like, "Oh, okay." And so he put out two, and then in the night I heard, and then like a squeak squeak, I heard him in the wall, <laughs> and I felt so bad, so I donated five hundred dollars to the Humane <laughs> Society, and I took the traps away. <laughs>
Did you feel like you did a war crime? <laughs> I did. It's so that I replaced the here's child. A, he here's, a, here's a question. Here's a question I have for you. Um, first question: Do you think that like a rat is worth five hundred dollars? How much do you think a rat is worth? Uh, I mean, like a dollar. Okay. So you you now have the moral <laughs> karma <laughs> backlog to kill up to five hundred rats if you I so guess. choose. Yeah. You got it. You got blank check, baby. Yeah. You could go through well, there with check. an electric rod check. and just electrocute them together but that's and watch the thing them is, scream. It's so sad. So I I have trapped two adults, three adults now. Okay. Um, and then. They How big are these rats, by the way? I'm sorry to interrupt. They're like, but. They're like this this big, probably. Oh. So body-wise, like this big, and okay. then they got long tails. They're tree rats. So had oh. the exterminator man come in, they were crawling in through Trees. S- some vent thing. And so we covered the vent in mesh and stuff. Wow. Um, and they got into my attic. And so oh, yeah. the adults got to got to plowing a little bit. So now yeah. there's a bunch of babies. So I have plowing. trapped a bunch of babies <laughs> and I've been releasing them into my neighborhood. Okay. Uh, Do you Are you considering that maybe releasing the the offspring of these original problem rats are, are then spreading up them amongst your neighbors? That's not mine. You're problem. causing misery perhaps. More well, so than you ever intended. Perhaps more deaths will come. Maybe, maybe. I mean, if if I'm honest, there's a lot of owls in my neighborhood, okay. and so they're probably getting killed pretty quickly. Well, they didn't get those original rats. No. So maybe um, they're not as good as you think. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take care of them. You give me a call. What is a humane trap? Because you said you were using humane traps. Mm-hmm. So it's just uh, it's a cage with a door on it, mm-hmm. and then there's a uh, bait in the back on a pressure plate, oh. and they go and walk onto it, and then it closes the door. Pressure plate. Yeah, it's a pressure plate. It's like Minecraft. a real like a, a real Minecraft. life pressure plate, like Whoa. Minecraft. Wow, yeah, it's crazy. Nah, dude, I fuck with glue traps. Oh, that that's shit, fucked. That's funny as hell. What? A- <laughs> that's fucked. Jesus Christ. Are they just stuck? So my. My dad has a big. <laughs> oh no, I got it. <laughs> it's awful. I got, you got it. Yeah, Imagine it a human glue trap. Incredibly That's visceral. Mr. Beast's next the video. demonstration you're giving uh, us right now. That's Mr. Beast's next video. If you can survive ten weeks on this human glue trap, you get a million dollars. <laughs> what is only, it? And it's like. Is it's it like just the, glue on a little pad? Yeah, yeah and mm-hmm. you get stuck to it. And it's not even like the high budget Mr. Beast video, so you only get Nolan coming yeah. around. Uh. <laughs> it's like, hey, you get. It's me, Nolan. <laughs> You're like, oh, I don't even get, like, Chandler. I don't know who Nolan is. So a glue, a glue trap is just, like, a piece of glue on a little on a little pad, and they just starve there. Yeah, they walk onto it, and then they can't move, and mm. then they starve and die. Wow. Um, so I would say that the snap traps are more humane than that. Because it, like, least, breaks their neck? Yeah, depending. Okay. Um, yeah. Have you tried reasoning sense. with these rats? No. Um... I I haven't, but uh, wh- wh- how would I reason with them? Um, killing their leader first, and then saying if like, oh, listen, guys, huh. I've cut off the head of the snake. Scurry along now. Maybe your leader is gone. Rat so, Trapicus is, has been killed. So I think I have killed the leader, but really, what? So what about him? Told you that he was the leader. Well, just because of how large he was. Oh yeah, that, he, was, he didn't have like that a is big standard crown. in rat society. Have, the bigger the boy, a, the, yeah. the the Do you guys more know what power. a rat king is? It's fucked. No. Oh. Like a real like. Tucker, will you look up a rat king and just show the worst photo? Can I get a, a paper towel as well? Um, a rat a, king is terrible. Do a little blowy. Like, is this a this is like a uh, an animal? No, it's a series of animals. What the fuck is that? So Whoa. a rat king is do the the second photo from the top yeah that one huh so this is when a i don't know what a group of mice or a group of rats is called (laughs) what is a group of rats called oh wait no that's for moose i it's also not for moose moose is already plural if you want it to be it's moose a group of rats is referred to as a mischief a mischief rats (laughs) so it's a bunch of rats their tails get if they're all like on top of each other, the, their tails get tangled together, and then they are just like one hive mind. They're not a hive mind. Wait, this the, is something that like happens to rats? This happens in nature, yeah. 
So there's a bunch of rats that are all in the same area, a small space. <laughs> Their <laughs> tails get tangled together, and then they just die like that. It's awful. Oh, they, oh, they don't like become stronger. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> No. So why call that a rat king? I don't know. It's fucked up, though. That looks like a rat accident. I know. <laughs> it's awful. This it's is so like... Bad. Rats sometimes get their tails intertwined. I feel like to this visual head. right here that we're looking at is Wait, like... Wait, they do move together as one. Wow. What? These foul creatures... The... This foul this creature foul... is called a rat king. <laughs> like it, it yeah, like creature. it became yeah. one thing. Yeah. Jeez. Damn. It is real. Does it no, piss you off? No, you're showing a video? Oh, Rat King video. Oh, In no. Real life. This, is, Rat King. this is a small... This is like oh, a... Oh, come on. This is like a Rat Lord. This is not... Yeah, as, Rat Prince. That sucks. That sucks. But there they go. Yeah, there they go. That looks like a squirrel. That's a squirrel yeah. That's a squirrel king. king. Squirrel that king. That literally is a squirrel king. <laughs> squirrel King in Banger, Maine. Hey. Oh, that's, that's awful. That's up by Bar Harbor. Oh, wow. that's such a... A bummer. Yeah, like, right. I don't know what else to think, but like, Tucker, if you go back to that that visual we were seeing before of that like sort of really grotesque one, yeah, that one right there. Yeah. I don't. I feel like this right here is the entire like visual inspiration for the entire Dark Souls series. Yeah, right. It's very right. much like, like looking that. at that. I'm like, yeah. So that reminds me of like any level in Dark Souls. Yeah. Oh, that would be a sick Dark Souls boss. The, the Rat, Rat King. Rat King. And it's that, just like a bunch I'm of I'm surprised, like, honestly, it hasn't been made yet. Yeah. I mean, in, in a lot of ways, there's... Uh, I may be thinking of... Oh, I mean, well, there's... there's um, In Demon Souls, there's the sort of corruption. Am I thinking of Demon Souls? Oh, no. In Dark Souls 3, there's like the first boss that you fight. He's got like sort of like corruption that happens to him mm. where he like explodes and there's that big hammer thing he's swinging around you know what, I'm what time out dark souls 2 wiki the rat king mm. but is it it's not like a bunch of them i uh, see that would be cool it's just if it was a, big a bunch rat. of them. but i'm not surprised that they had a rat king though no, i mean yeah. that's like yeah it sounded familiar yeah I, <laughs> it sounded familiar can i rant for a second mm -hmm. you absolutely it can. really pisses me off when i see people who are, like like rats mm. They're fucking vermin. That's a that's a beast right there. Well, they don't normally look like that. People set these things that's as not... like their profile pictures with like stars and heart emojis. But they're different. It. Like it's cute. There's different types. Of possum rats. too. Never understand that. <laughs> You're gonna never get understand possum that. Possum too. You're getting dangerously close to start shitting on fern and mochi right now. I, no, no, because hamsters are are. They're not hamsters. What are they? They're guinea pigs. Charlie's close. Guinea pigs? Close. Guinea pigs? It's not a possum though, and it's not a raccoon, and it's not a rat. That's Wait. the that's the, the the axis of evil right there. I and love the fact raccoons. That, the fact that pe no, no, those I are mean, sca those are scavengers. They're they, yeah, bottom feeders. They have little hands. I know. And that's I love terrible. Them. It's awesome. They're grotesque. I, I don't think that you should keep raccoons as pets because they're wild animals. Yeah. But William Hoffman did a video where he kept one as his child for a bit. How long? Uh, it's yeah, awful. I don't even know if they Ian's dig still through, here. They dig through your trash. Oh, how long night? did he do that for? Uh, it was there for like twelve hours. It was there for twelve? Oh, only where twelve did he hours. Get it? He got it. He got it from someone who owned one. I think it was like Arizona. A, Arizona. There you what, go. What? He sell it to him on like a bill of sale? What the fuck? Yeah. Wait. Did he Just sell him one, the raccoon? Rented. 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 Okay. Wow. Okay. There you go. Lease agreement for the raccoon. No, these things are beasts. They're they're awful. They, the despicable hand, creatures. The hand. The hand, the thing hand thing aspect is, so is definitely something like I. I always my mind immediately goes to that video of the raccoon coming in and picking up the handful of dog food and, and walking away in the driveway. <laughs> yeah. Like that's it's a real. Like, like so funny. they have hands. Yeah. Or maybe they just terrible. I don't know. They're just more able to rotate their their paws so they can do that kind of thing. No, they, they have hands. Well, because cats have... could do that if they tried. No. What are they? Do, are they called something different? Because they're double. They, they don't have a double thumb. as as hands and legs. Are they called something different? I think that's called a paw. Isn't that? What I have that no be idea. Uh, those fuckers have hands. Okay. I love that's, them. It's fucked up. They shouldn't have hands. Tucker, do raccoons have hands? Sounds like they have hands, but, really? they, don't have, but they don't have thumbs. There's a difference between mean? wild rats and well, the opposable thumb was rats. a big deal. They're just they, there's a difference between wild rats and they can grab like domesticated with them. rats. 
Yeah, that's what yeah, I think we need to like. Because yeah. I, I know where you're going with this, and I feel you like you don't like that guy. No, why? That shouldn't hey. exist. Why? That is a beast. It looks like he, that is a beast. <laughs> I mean, with the photo that you're showing right now, it looks like he's casting a spell. So I think that <laughs> yeah. this is probably the least like convincing. Or he's about to get a good raccoon. You cannot photo you show me a picture of a raccoon, and I will say, oh, okay, I kind of understand. It's kind of cute. Raccoons, no. I feel like, are kind of close to cats. No. 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 One is cute. And, and lovable and it will be your best friend and the other is a fucking beast that I will swerve and go out of my way to run over on the street. I feel like you just described a cat from two different so, <laughs> perspectives. <laughs> let, me, let me read this description, Tucker. So, raccoons have remarkably sensitive hands with five long tapered fingers and long nails. They lack thumbs, so can't grasp objects with one hand the way we can, uh -huh. but they use both four paws together to lift and then acutely manipulate objects. That's so, pretty close, but just like yeah, they can't like they, a raccoon couldn't do this. But a raccoon could do this. Yeah, oh, like yeah. a rac like maybe if a raccoon went like that, they could do that. I suppose because mm -hmm. that's like yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, no thumbs are important. Well, no, it's got <laughs> five. It has five. It, there's just no like opposable nature of the fifth one. So they all they all bend just, like this. Yeah, mm. yeah. So it could it could grab a ball probably with one hand. No, no, it's saying that they it can't grab objects with with one hand. No, I bet that thing could. Tucker, can we get a photo of a uh, raccoon grasping a ball with one hand? <laughs> and please don't use AI to generate it from yeah. nothing. <laughs> I could probably train one of these things real good. Yeah, exactly. Which is so funny. No, it's terrifying. You can have it do deeds. It's terrifying. Just grab it you sounds like you're like I could train it, but I'm not gonna like it. Like you sound yeah. like you're gonna do it, even though you don't it's want. It's terrifying to. that these things roam our streets. I love them. That shouldn't be allowed. Uh, I love them. Are you What's calling your... for an execution of, re of records? We get, or? we get bobcats roaming mm. around Austin. I feel There's like bobcats, bobcats are everywhere. Leopards and coyotes. I don't know about leopards. Coyotes, too. Uh huh. There's coyotes. There was a coyote That's in my the driveway. That's you're going to get. Day. Look at that guy. That doesn't look, that looks like a Photoshop. Look at him. Of that raccoon carrying the peanut butter. But go, he's not, I mean. Go to the third one. This? Yeah. So he's holding that with that. Is, okay, so that doesn't seem like a realistic <laughs> photo of a raccoon. I mean, I yeah. I swear that I look at that one. The person grabbing it. Yeah, took <laughs> that one. <laughs> that one's but a you, but a child. Are you saying it's terrible? Are you saying that if one of these yeah. was in your house, it, you would kill it? Yes, hundred percent. At the very least, I would grab it. And squeeze it and try and pop it. That's the least. And that then you if, would it, do? if that didn't work, I would just throw it out. I don't want to like throw bash it. its skull in. But <laughs> it's it, it seems like they your conception of, of least to most is kind of flipped. It's just a shame they don't yeah. make the glue traps for that. <laughs> I mean, so I don't think there's really a limit. How <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I caught a lizard in one one time. You're gonna you hurt a, yourself. You have You're to gonna dump. have like an aneurysm. Have to, I've never doing seen that a shit. human move that fast. <laughs> you have to, you have to See, that's got me a little bit worried about trap. the concept of doing a creator clash with Schlapp because of that was some that was some yeah. explosive yeah, was movement as they say I in sports. Caught in the glue trap and you got to dump like olive oil on it to get the adhesive off. Oh, you can't just use like WD forty. No, no, and and it's still stuck as you're kind of like massaging it trying to get mm -hmm. the lizard off the trap and it's like why like, yeah and then it, it just wriggles more as as you release it and just it's seems kind of uneasy. it, it what were seems you like you're taking like vhs videos of these things happening and you have like a weird collection in your playroom i was trying to i was trying to catch camel crickets can we pull up a camel cricket please camel crickets terrifying beast um terrifying beast look up that camel point, cricket I feel like with these, so these audio listeners things. love you to death. I encourage oh. you to watch this episode in the video oh. version because of how many visuals we are showing yeah, on there's screen a lot of visuals at this there. point. But um, do you know about camel spiders? Of course, I know about camel They're spiders. Horrifying. You know about camel spiders? Right I've there. never seen one of these things before. Oh. This, these audio listeners these love things. you to death. This looks like a, a cricket. If you took it, if you took the free transform tool on, or the last thing that we saw was a free transform tool, and then you made it like reduce its width on the mm -hmm. horizontal scale like you squeeze it inwards yeah it does look like you like content aware scaled yeah line. or it kind of reminds me of like an early uh 20th century mm -hmm. uh depiction of a fat capitalist um mm -hmm. like union busting yeah. fucking business owner but as an insect crazy yeah. beast crazy beast there's so much muscle mass in those two <laughs> rear legs <laughs> 
They jump at you. That so thing's got some they, horsepower. They you. There's some <laughs> horses in that thing. They, they, they come out of the womb knowing that if they see a it's human, insect, they will jump out. It's not a mammal. Do they just, jump at you. Do they just, uh, they're in your house? All mm. over. I feel like <laughs> if you're using glue traps, you should just accept the fact that whatever gets stuck in there, you will probably have to kill. Do you know what's one insect that had cursed me, haunted me my whole, and you probably had to deal with this too, um, my whole childhood was stink bugs. Stink bugs! Yeah. Yeah. There's these, there are these small little bugs that they come inside in the winter and um, they're almost impossible to get yeah. rid of. Like, like, yeah. like as in my parents would try to get exterminators and then they'd be like, you just kind of have to like deal with it. Mm -hmm. Cause they like, you just can't get rid of them. And they will, they're, they, the reason why they stink is when you kill them, they, they release this sort of like smell and then that technically attracts more of them. So you don't even want to kill them. You just want to mm -hmm. flush them down the toilet. But the reason why they sucked when I was a kid is that I'd be trying to fall asleep and the lights would be off in my room and I would hear this sound and I would hear, it would be basically the sound of them flying from one wall to the other and they would go, bzzz. And I'd be like, there's this fucking stink bug in this room. <laughs> and then I would hear it like, bzzz. And I'd hear it get closer to me. There have been times that I have had a stink bug crawling up my shirt when I'm trying to fall asleep and it is the worst thing to- Brush the fucking thing off. Oh my God. <laughs> I want a two what are you, hour- what are you, You're just standing in horror? <laughs> I would I can't, I can't kill it. I can't kill it. You're no, 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 no. It crawls up. <laughs> I brush it off, but I would rather it never have the chance to get there in yeah. the first place. Glue trap. Oh, fuck. Glue trap? <laughs> <laughs> Glue trap. I so feel, such an effective killer. I feel so bad. This for is the why you get so you, you tie yourself out is because you do these explosive <laughs> movement bits, and it's and you use like you you take away like ten percent of your power every time you you do one. Schla, I think you need to make a human glue trap video or a human glue trap stream. You do a subathon from a glue trap. <laughs> you just you should set out thousands of glue traps and purchase thousands of trail cams just around various houses and just be switching in between them and commentating the glue trapping. Oh thanks for the thanks for the 50 gifted subs. All right. 10 more hours in the glue trap. <laughs> And then the, the final part of the stream is just somebody coming in and pouring olive oil on you. <laughs> it's perfect. And I have to like wriggle. That's <laughs> awful. That's like some oh, fucking yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. You see, half the time when he does this stuff, I'm never sure if it's actual alcohol, but I purchased this and I opened it for him, and it's it's real alcohol. It it's real alcohol. It's real. Uh, this time. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, rats, raccoons, mm -hmm. possums. If you, have, if you currently have or have ever had a profile picture as one of those awful beasts, mm -hmm. disgusting... Creatures. Varmints as your profile picture with like hearts and emojis. You need help. You probably have some other issues going on. So here's a question. Yeah. If you had to choose one to keep alive. Well, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Someone with a Twitter profile picture of a rat or a raccoon or other vermin or uh, Minecraft YouTuber icon. Gogi profile pic. You might as well put him in like a Greek robe because he's lacking, acting like this is the <laughs> deepest philo philosophical question that he's ever received. <laughs> Thinking man. I would pick the Minecraft one to keep alive because there's mm. a chance that they, they won't, will, they they will won't, heal. They won't yeah. reproduce like the, the rats will. <laughs> Okay, well, that's implying that the rat profile picture is because it's an actual rat on Twitter. <laughs> like, if a oh, rat was oh. on Twitter, it would be disguising like, this. Like rat. someone who likes rats also like reproduces like a rat. <laughs> like they take their shirt off and they've got like nipples all down their chest. Uh, yeah, no, I'd, I'd I'd save the Minecraft one because there's a chance that. They'd be a fan of me and would mm. buy my merchandise. There you go. And listen okay. to my new podcast, Ditch Lat Win, which is a podcast about me arguing with people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Damn. 
And you've got a podcast coming up. I do. You want to dish some info Soon. on that? I know it's with the Irish guy. It's with the Irish guy. He yeah, no, I, we, long, I think no longer is an Irish. We, we this entire pod half since the moment that we talked about your podcast, I think everything from there had been a tangent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and, <laughs> we and have which not I needed cla- on a single and thing. I, and I wanted clarification actually on this is, yeah. are you, so is he coming out to LA to film this stuff with you or are you guys doing it on Discord? So for the most part, it'll happen on Discord and gotcha. then every once in a while, I feel like it'll kind of be like the two of you. For the most mm. part, it'll take place over Discord mm-hmm. and then every once in a while, we'll get together yeah. Um, yeah. and do 10 episodes a day day for yep. a, a week are you whatever what is the name of this podcast it's going to be called brain leak brain, brain leak. leak yeah which means that when you guys come out to shoot it in mm-hmm. person you can call it brain week oh <laughs> it's now like that's you, nice it's like when you shoot a hog from 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 hellybacon.com exactly. and then it, it kind of goes in one end and then uh-huh. <gasps> out the other a puddle of so here's a question with the hogs that you're killing and I would like to reiterate, so I don't get canceled on Twitter. You're not going to get canceled on Twitter no, for killing an invasive time species. I was on a podcast. I got canceled on Twitter because of Matt and Ryan from Super Mega. What did you say? I didn't say anything. I laughed at a joke that they made. I mean, and you're uncancelable, and no one's ever canceled you. Yeah, because, I'm because an unproblematic are, king. And you, yes. Mm-hmm. Eef. <laughs> Eef. <laughs> That's actually um, something that. I'm sorry. You had something no, no, to say. No. Keep going. I don't remember what I was going to say. I, and that's my fault because I was going on the multiple <laughs> tangents there. A bit but of a brain leak right there. A little oh, bit of a brain say. leak as well. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to. Have you ever spoken about that, that the Eve thing, or do you ever have any plans to? And we can cut this out about if you what? don't want it to talk about. Just like the what your opinions on the Eve stuff. Oh, so it. I don't remember where it came from. People just started calling me that, and then. It's whatever. Yeah. If people mm-hmm. want to call me that, they can, I guess. I think... I think that sometimes I get a little annoyed with my audience because I have always been, for the most part, in the friend groups that I have, one of the younger people. Mm-hmm. And I have a little bit of a baby face. And so my audience is very protective of me. And they baby right. me a lot. Right. Even though they're, they're probably... Yes. You know, like 15. Far, yeah. Yeah. Um... And I'm 26. Now. Yeah, so they're infantil. The 15 year olds are infantilizing a mm-hmm. yeah 26 year old. That is a little yeah. Str- strange. Yeah, so yeah. sometimes I could. should we. What if we gave them an alternative that was like less infantilizing? Me. Some, yeah. What? 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 Me. Oh. <laughs> and Nick, I was just thinking uh, we not just transfer them over. Oh yeah yeah yeah. What's oh, the like into your body like a Freaky yeah. Friday thing? No no like start. Infantilizing me. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I like that. Uh huh. Yeah. What would they call you? Hog Prince. Hog <laughs> Prince. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I'm a rat King. Well, yeah. yeah. No, I'm thinking don't, something like. Actually, don't. Don't. Let's not do that. Why? Why not? Uh, I think something like badass, like. <laughs> like. Killer. <laughs> <laughs> like, killer. Kill, killer. Ravager. <laughs> <laughs> Rage man. How about this? Dead. Gunner. <laughs> Gunner. Gunner. <laughs> Shooting guy. Um. Bullet boy. No, you're an adult. Bullet adult. Bullet adult. <laughs> Bullet. Gunpowder plus. That's your. Ooh. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like gunpowder plus. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Gunpowder plus. I guess I'm about to be in my gun era, uh, as the kids yeah. would call it. Well, dude, you come down to Texas. We've got flamethrowers. We've got tanks. Ooh, we've got fifty cal snipers. We've got uh, MP40s from like like World War Two. Have you gone like, and shot a bunch of guns in Texas? Uh, I've been to Texas and I've shot guns in Texas. I haven't done with a schlat though. Mm. Yeah. So I've, I've, gone, I've been in Texas and I've shot. In, you know, I've shot an AK-47 or something. It was, I think it was when Tucker and I were in Texas. What did we shoot? Uh, we shot a lever action, 44 mag. We shot a. No, that wasn't. That was in Nashville. We did that. Oh yeah, you're right. We yeah. shot an AK. We shot a couple handguns. Yeah, I think it was a couple handguns and then like they just the AK or something. Yeah. Now, what's your uh, what's your opinion on the whole Sneeko clip? versus mag oh it's clearly a magazine Mm. yeah tucker actually had brought up a point to me though when because you know 
Critical had shown his expertise with a gun, but he made one fatal mistake. Tucker, take it away. Well, he, he pulled the slide back and locked it without pulling the mag out first, which is kind of weird. I would never do that. Because if it was... I thought the same thing. I was like, that's kind of weird. Yeah. I, it's a little strange. I, exactly I did know. notice that as well, actually. <laughs> While, I, too, that. noticed that. <laughs> I didn't fucking notice that. In the back of my head, that. I was going, oh, he pulled the slide out. Without Why is it? Well, if it had a round in it and you, you didn't lock it back, it would load it. Like, it would chamber it. So then it would be uh, like a hot weapon. Like sexy? So Yeah. Yeah, so you're on Sneeko's huh. side. No. I don't know who Sneeko is. Huh. Boom. That's probably yeah. the best roast you could have given him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've been subscribed to Charlie for like a decade. I don't know. Yeah. Since he started. Back when he was making just like the 18 FPS. Uh, mm -hmm. like, Battlefield. Yeah, find like a random game that you've never even seen before and it's like it's like falling apart like the game is like the code is breaking down as he's playing it have we all been uh watching charlie since before we knew he was hot yeah 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 oh mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah i remember when they, the internet freaked out about that they were like oh, oh he's man. hot i do wish he would do his intro you know what was his original intro just hey everybody it's critical hey everybody it's critical here yeah uh-huh yeah mm. bummer so, do you think he'll come on the on that sandwich show? Well, we've had him on online. Mm -hmm. We've never had him on in person cuz he's in Tampa and I don't think that there's any You could do it during Creator Clash weekend. Well, he's, he's probably not going Creator Clash. Why are you, I'm not he doesn't going, like to travel. I'm not going. I'm Why not aren't going. you going? Why? I'm not, I'm not gonna I I'm not gonna go. I DM'd you about it and you said I'd rather die. 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 So I'd rather be a little hog surprised? running around in a field and you <laughs> shoot me down. <laughs> No, I won't be going to Creator Clash. Um, so I will always choose an option in which he is not perceived mm. rather than one in which he is. Yeah. Other than it in person, perception mm -hmm. is not preferable. No. Mm. Online perception. Mm. Huh. Online perception That's is money. everything. That's money right there, baby. That's everything. We've gone on like six tangents since reintroducing the podcast topic i want you to be able to talk about it yeah because you were uh, very excited about I, it i mean yeah i was just excited about it because, your podcast yeah i not in a way that it, i was excited to be like i wanted to promote my podcast but i was well, I'm thinking interested. about the two of you because you've been doing it for a while mm -hmm. and i am as a person who's starting one i'm like what if i run out of things to talk about every week how do you how do you keep that up so that's a good question Easy and it question, is and it is really. a consistent one that we ask ourselves very often mm -hmm. um a lot of time i mean it's it's solved by like like this like having uh, a guest that is also a pal of ours that mm -hmm. we like enjoy talking to because you know we if it's just the two of us we're fucking miserable that, mm -hmm. that's not a fully real answer sometimes we do run out of things to talk about i think some of it is like Schleid and i don't live in the same place all the time mm. so sometimes we we're just two of us are just working throughout the whole week the no thank no, we god haven't. this place mm. fucking sucks <laughs> you don't like it either. no you like texas i love texas mm. i actually really like texas hog I'm heaven lie. hog yeah, heaven it's crazy <laughs> honestly that, like, probably more like hog hell <laughs> well no they'll go to heaven <laughs> that they're invasive. Do they back to the hogs real quick? Do they do? <laughs> what's uh, is it sustainable? You know? Do oh they, yeah. Do well, they, they reap. They anything, fuck it, like no tomorrow. I've seen it happen. But do they? Do they go back? Do you? The second half of the hog trip. Do you have to go back and? Oh, you can you leave them there, and the vultures pick at them, or you can take them. And so they enter them. into the the cycle of life. Is that true? Actually, want. can you yeah, go back you and do get whatever them? you want to them? They're yours. You can't do. Anything, anything you want to them don't no you're don't holding, nod at me with Ted. like a, a twinkle in your eye i don't want you doing that you're holding a machine gun okay you hunt them you can do anything you want to that thing but so how big are these hogs and how do you how do you big transport beasts, them big beasts you you have to sling them around your back and carry them like a little Squat like them. a little thule backpack like okay a little jan sport mm -hmm. yeah but back to, to your question yeah, yeah sometimes we run out of things mm -hmm. to talk about because we're a lot there are a lot of times where it's like we're both just working in our respective offices at our homes for a week and we haven't done anything. Mm -hmm. So when the next podcast comes along, we're like, what are we going to That sounds like any time I talk to my mom. She's always like, what's uh, what's new? What are you doing? And I'm like, same thing I'm always doing. Yeah. And I don't really have anything to so say. That, yeah, so that's why sometimes we like to do, like, we bring in... we. As the podcast has aged, we've started bringing in like topics like the like we enjoy doing the would you rather. That's always really fun to do, yep. or like the tier list. Like we'll choose stuff like that, and that's like because that's a 
and also the chuckle mail stuff we do as well mm-hmm. where we have people mm-hmm. asking questions so that kind of adds like more stuff there when it's like we haven't really done any but you know sometimes someone will have like a bunch of shit going on like yeah. when i went to ireland or something like that i got to talk about my old island trip or something or if you know schlatt went to the moon or something like that is that soon no it's gonna happen eventually i need though. some more money first mm. yeah but then i would consider that yeah you can uh you could sell the the monkey guy the monkey statue yeah i haven't even set him up yet he's still in a box i need to enjoy oh, him first <laughs> Why? It's been y- literally years. I, have to enjo- I haven't enjoyed him yet. He's in a storage container. Mm. So f- your podcast, though, is, it, is it's going to be you and Jacksepticeye. It's called Brain Leak. Mm-hmm. It's going to be two cheeky boyos mm-hmm. hanging out, having a good time. Is there any sort of, is there any sort of like, um, sp- is it, or is it kind of like similar to what Chuckle Sandwiches, where it's just like whatever? Yeah, fuck. just kind of. That's the way out. to do it. So, yeah, you know? that's got the most staying power. Um, Ted raised a good point though, where. You know, we, we have a couple of mainstays because we don't do much else and we don't uh, talk to each other outside of the podcast. Well, I, we tr- I try uh, to get you to So, game. yeah, but I don't. And so it only really, we only really, uh, like, talk at, like, Monday at 4 p.m. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, you know, when you don't have a lot of rapport with someone, it's tough. So you need to so, fall back okay. on the mainstays. So this and is, this, this is, is the point. This is what I'm saying. Let me, if you I want need to clarify something to be here, a like successful this podcast, is, this is you need to come up with twisted. some, you need to come up with some, some episodes right with Jack um, where even if you don't like each other, even if there's some, so, okay. some nothing, not, not, not like much going other. on. Yeah. Your audience can still consume this format. This and, is and rely it's on such it. an so interesting we do tier list. Yeah. And I t- Chuckle about Sandwich this. was originally started so I could stay in contact. Mainstays. With those two no. motherfuckers. We do have like a, and now we have a, we have a bad advice segment thing. where people yeah. ask us advice and then we give great. them, but purposely bad, bad advice. Right. Or something like that. So I would turn that into a whole episode mm. and only do that every now and then. Because if it's if it's every week, then you still need to fill the air for the rest of the you know the ninety. Other yes. percentiles of the podcast. Can you do that like so once a month? That's Hell, true. And that audience could really start loving that. Mm-hmm. And then, oh, we don't have anything to talk about. Let's do that again. Mm-hmm. Or come up with some other ideas that your audience really likes that is easy for you to Why do we, without feeling like you need to like experience stuff because everyone knows we just stay inside. Yeah. You know? I'm very opinionated. I like ranking things. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so and we, you like winning and arguing. Like winning. You're very good at arguing. I do. And it's that's like why I started my Ditch Live right Win now. podcast, which I'd love for you to come on it. I would some love point. to. I mean, is that on any, Spotify? Oh, it's YouTube? on Spotify right now and YouTube. And, uh, you know, do you, do you feel strongly about anything? Mm. Do you hmm. have any opinions that when you say them out loud, people are like, wow. Hmm. You should just continue the kill all raccoons conversation. because <laughs> I think they should be. I think they should be killed. Raccoons. Dude, raccoons deserve to live. No. Yes. No, no. There you go. You literally just set up no. the... the ding, ding, ding. One of them, I yeah. did. I did really My like... My name is Schlatt, uh, and I think that raccoons should die. And I'm, here, I'm joined here today by Ethan Nestor, who thinks that raccoons should live. Ethan, why are you dumb? That was a pretty good. That was imp- perfect. Spot on. You want to come on that? Yeah, yeah. I'm always there. Okay. What would you? I feel like that would be a spicy episode. Well, because I know this guy's entire strategy is yeah. like I've got him worked in in and out right now. Mm-hmm. I've got. I literally know every pathway that this man will follow in order to illustrate a point. You're also very good at arguing. Uh, not only arguing, but like going off on one thing for a really long time. Like when we were at doing porn core party and you were talking about the food. Yeah. <laughs> that honestly, so, funny. so, so that, that's funny that you say that because that was like almost like in a, like a, like, um, like an alien event for me mm. where I was so absolutely moved and changed emotionally, <laughs> like a character in a movie by the by the the swath the plethora mm-hmm. the cornucopia of options mm-hmm. that i was presented upon mm-hmm. this upon my plate by <laughs> this studio the empanadas, the empanadas with the lime aioli how could i fucking forget about the empanadas yeah. they were <laughs> they were fried so delicately so beautifully the yeah. the the crispness the flavor of the mm-hmm. meat inside was like entering a dreamland of wonder and delight mm-hmm. and the lime aioli they had so much available to you. It was like an unreasonable amount. And I put an unreasonable amount on my plate. Mm-hmm. And I had, I'll admit it, I had 14 <laughs> empanadas 
they were they were not like very i mean they were th this big okay yeah, yeah. so they're you know i had i think i had three that's a human sized portion. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I would not be surprised if each of those empanadas were probably 200 calories. So I probably consumed Please. roughly, I mean, uh, you know, I'm bad at math, but at least almost 3000 calories worth of empanadas in a single sitting. And I could have eaten more, but it was starting to get embarrassing. Yeah. It was starting, I was starting to get, feel looks upon me of worry. Mm -hmm. So that, like, it was just a big event, and you know. What good. were we talking about? We were talking about, know. okay, so I'm trying to walk us back, and I've yeah. been trying to do this for the past, like, half hour at this point. You, on a podcast we were, we were with on, two ADHDers. We, were on, yeah. we, were, we were, medicated? Yeah, right now, concern, uh, baby. I've, uh, I have new mm. medication. Really? Yes, which I like. Is it a stimulant, or is it like a... Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't. I was told recently I, about like that I, you can get non-stimulant ADHD want. stuff. That it's, like it's, that it's, an, it's a stimulant. Yeah, it's talking, stimulant. We were yeah. talking about it's how Ted knows exactly similar to Vyvanse. I don't know. Oh, yeah, interesting. So. But it's new. We were, so, and then and then back where can people head, find we your podcast that you are going to be releasing? Because at this point, I think around when this podcast release, your podcast will be available yeah. online with Jack Septic Eye. I think. I think so. Or at least it'll be. Disgusting. It's slimy, you know? Oh, we know a, we know a thing or two about slimy usernames. God, we took care of him <laughs> mm -hmm. a while ago. And green. <laughs> right? Yeah. Green boys. Green, slimy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next time Sean is in town, you guys should have him on the, the old sandwich. We'd love to have him on. I mean, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Okay. It's called Brain Leak. Brain, Brain Leak. Leak. Weekly episodes. Weekly episodes. Leak as in falling out of a, of a normally enclosed surface rather than a... Onion? Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Cool, exactly. cool. Exactly. Because it's just all coming out of her brain yeah. right. and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard to come up with a podcast name. Oh, yeah. No, Chuckle Sandwich is literally named after my high school improv group. I think that's great. Did you start it? The improv group? No, I didn't. Oh. I was just a part of it. <laughs> I was just a part of it, and it was... It was it's a it, my my thought behind it was it's a high school improv group. It's the name isn't going anywhere besides a high and also it doesn't actually exist anymore. I don't think I think they stopped doing auditions and it just kind of fell apart. Mm. Yeah. But it I remember it being such an important had such an important impact on like my development of my like comedy and like it just was being a part of that group was like so important to me that it, and I also love the name so much I was like I can't yeah. let this just die. Right. Like I want this to still be a part of i don't know it's a very special like name to me and yeah i'm still friends with a lot of people that were in the group so yeah for me it was um arguing with people did i win the argument mm -hmm. did schlatt win i wanted to call it versus yeah but uh we did a little look up of the trademark and mm -hmm. in that space there's a there's a bunch and I like did Schlatt win. I think yeah, it's Yeah, I think it works. It gets the point across, mm -hmm. and there's no other Schlatts mm -hmm. that are going to serve me a cease and desist like Gwyneth Paltrow did years ago. With Goop. Yeah. Did she? Yeah. She literally really? did. Legal letter. That was a literal that. legal letter right. we received from Gwyneth Paltrow. I mean, I don't think that she wrote it. It no. would have been ex very funny if she did. But she loves what was she loves for? lawsuits because she just won another one. Yeah. For a dollar. Yeah. For a dollar. For a dollar. ski one. Yeah. yeah. What was it? What did you do with Goop? It was called Goop Podcast. Yeah, Goop uh, Cast. Yeah, and then she has a. It was what ended Goop. up being Lunch mm -hmm. Club. Yeah, and uh, then she had the a podcast for Goop called Goop Podcast or something. Yeah, and we got a something letter. about skincare and. Yeah, know, she made the vagina candle or whatever. Yeah, that. I have that, and I light it frequently, <laughs> and it doesn't smell. I mean, maybe it does. Hmm. I wouldn't know. But I feel like it doesn't compared to the real thing. I don't. Yeah, yeah I mean, hmm. it's very flowery. It's like not. It's like flowers and dirt. That's what it. That's what that thing smells like. Hmm. So like a like a garden. No, but like like mud, like swamp. <laughs> not not like fresh dirt. Not like sod. No, uh, like mud. Okay. That would be wild if. If that was if, what a vagina yeah, smelled like, like yeah. mulch, like mulch. <laughs> mulch would be a that'd be a tough that'd be a tough tough smell. sell, tough sell, yeah. tough sell. I like the smell of mulch. You guys don't wow. like the sell, smell. Well, mulch comes in different smells. I mean, I yeah. I did some landscaping with you know Tucker's dad's a landscaper, and I did some work for him growing up, and mm -hmm. you know they're just like 
sweet mulches and there's some stinky mulches. <laughs> so, I mean, so is there anything else you want? We we what? So we you've been on this podcast before, so you mm-hmm. and I'm wondering. You know, Shad has a question you usually ask people, but and we could we, you, your answer could have changed. We but can I do mean, it again. I'll let I mean, him just take it, it away. We can do it again. I mean, yeah, hit it, hit it with me again because uh, maybe my opinion has changed and it's been so long. I can't even remember when was that. It's been over a year. It was mm-hmm. February of last year when we did that whole mm-hmm. shebang. And I do you mean, still do it every episode with oh, every guest? Every episode with mm-hmm. every guest, mm-hmm. every guest, and I usually find some kind of like funny segue. But honestly, that uh, I'm drunk now. Mm. So I didn't even think about it. Hmm. So you still have that. You didn't ask. Uh, yeah, uh, pitch it to me like I'm a first time. Uh, I'm gonna pitch it to you. Yes. Like a. <laughs> would you rather have unlimited bacon, uh, but no more video games, or games, games, unlimited games, but no games? Crystal. Oh. What's the first one again? Oh Unlimited bacon. I f- okay, well, I feel like he was being very clear when he said Unlimited that. Crystal bacon, clear when no he said that shit. So, so I'll say it one more time because yeah. you have no idea what's going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Ethan, would you rather have bacon in the unlimited variety? Mm-hmm. Unlimited bacon. Okay, we're getting a little bit avant-garde with this one now. Mm-hmm. But no more games. Mm-hmm. Or games. Unlimited games. But no games. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just kind of thinking about what we were talking about before with the hogs. And I feel like that would be kind of, that is kind of a real life scenario of unlimited, unlimited bacon. Unlimited bacon. Yeah. Wow. Holy shit. But in yeah. some ways, that activity would be considered to some who delight in the process to be a game. Oh my God. <laughs> shit. <laughs> But also, at the same time, with that, if you were to swap the things, that is kind of an unlimited bacon, but no bacon scenario. But that's not an option. That is and that's enough. never been an option in the two years we've been running this podcast. Been, hasn't been on the I, s- on the I mean, <laughs> did I stutter yeah. when I was saying that? I don't think you that? stuttered, and pretty, I don't think uh, that you... Uh, you were clear. I think you were crystal, straight to the point. Crystal clear. I think it was pretty... I, uh, as they say, cut and dry. Cut I and think dry. Uh, due to what we have talked about in this podcast, mm-hmm. I will have to go with the unlimited bacon, but no games scenario. Wow. Um, okay. Why? Well, you know, when you think about what a game is, what is a game? Because Are we getting could, into game theory right now? Well, we could talk about if if the unlimited bacon shooting the bacon unlimited bacon no games you don't have to necessarily think of that as a game it could be a hobby it could also be uh what's it called uh, a community service okay i'm following it could be a community service a so oh, an active charity of which would yeah, not be charity. considered to be a game for it is it's not a game charity okay yes, mm. but it's no game um it's not a game hmm. but you get unlimited bacon but no game there's right. always unlimited bacon in, uh, in that first one and i think that's the the uncontested part of the whole question that's mm. the one thing that no one has any <laughs> any questions about mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the bacon does expand yeah, but no games. I mean, it does. Kind of, I mean, I don't want to influence this yeah. one bit. I feel like I should kind of distance myself one of our from oldest questions discussing the nuances. Yeah, because mm-hmm. that because it's one of those things where this question has so many little corners in which you can yeah. you can yeah. enter into mm-hmm. and frolic in and sort yeah. of delight in their. Uh, it, in many ways, the question itself is the question of of all of this, yeah. where we are now, this this life we live in. Mm. Um, Is there a, a, a more popular answer between mm. the two? Oh. A more popular mm. answer? I don't think we've actually been keeping track. No, I don't. Mm. I think we just kind of throw it out there. I'm sure there's a subreddit. I feel like in many ways, people track. answering this question is sort of like when you, um, when you spread ashes. Mm. Yeah, and in Japan, they do the thing with the chopsticks. They do, and they hand it over like a piece of sushi. Mm-hmm. But you can't do that in Japan, or else people will think, oh, he's handing over ashes. Okay. 
which is why you need to take the chopsticks and put it on a plate and then present the plate with mm -hmm. two hands. Yes. I didn't know that. What part of the sandwich did you answer you were last time? We got a lot of sandwich parts, but what were, I, I, I'm... I don't remember. I think... I s what are the options? Any, well, I, anything. I mean, really, I. It's sort of the the scope is sort of expanded over the years, but since ever since we had Danny Gonzalez on, we it sort of expanded <laughs> from. It sort of expanded because I told him anything, and then he went and he he told us he was a the, farmer. The, vi the visual a of a farmer <laughs> using a scythe to cut grass yeah. at sunset, uh, which was essentially the notion of a visual of an idea. So. Mm -hmm. there, there is precedent, legal precedent for many which yeah. ways you can go, and and um, I think that that's appropriate because there's we'd probably end up running out of condiments. Yeah. Well, well, then going off of that, then uh, and going off of the hog theme that we've sort of oh, made here, okay. I think that I I would like to be one of the hogs running oh. through the field. Uh, trying to escape from the what, what's the experience called again? Heli bacon. Heli bacon. We're giving them so much free press. Yeah. I should really start. Yeah, start, start a reeling fucking, it in a little bit. I need bit. a creator code or something. Yeah. yeah, or just a free weekend on them. Or a free weekend, yeah. Just a whole Which would weekend. still promote them more. Ammo so expensive. Ammo yeah. so expensive. Oh yeah. yeah. If they could provide mm -hmm. that, I would. I would. I would free Texas of of this this hog problem. Once mm -hmm. Can we? Can we look up? Is it one of those things where they have a price or do you have to like get a quote from them? I hate that. I hate it when they you're might, trying to yeah. figure out a price <laughs> and they're just like, email us and we'll send you a quote. Just tell me more or less how much it's going to cost or tell me how oh, much it starts We got them right at. there. We got them right there. Helicopter hog hunting. Starting, starting at, at $5,495 no, per package. person. No, no, no. That's person? the whole person. That's the whole package. Uh, these are the biggest packages. They go down. That's three three grand a person to take you up in a heli and, and rain lead on a bunch oh of feral hogs. God. Wow. Reasonable, I'd say. I don't the... want to use lead. Because then the scavengers that eat them are going to get lead and it trickles down. Well, how do you... What? you steel core or something. Oh, steel yeah. core bullets, right. Wait, you just don't want to use lead. What? Uh, oh, you don't use lead. Okay. Yeah. Do they still use lead? That's why we got an environmentalist on our... Yeah, they can't... try not to. Yeah. For we... hunting, you're not supposed to these days. Yeah. Well, excellent. Well, I'm glad we have Tucker, man. Well, thank you so much, Ethan, for coming on this podcast. Thank you guys so much for having me. We love you so much. It. We love you guys. Thank you hope for the that invite. by the time this podcast comes out that you have won your fight victoriously. Yeah, and we didn't gloriously. really predict yeah. anything. Yeah. But that's okay. That's I think point. you're going to win. Well, thank you. Because I don't know the other guy. Really thank you. The drinking? Yeah, yeah, dude. That's a like a hefty pour. It is. It's I don't like, even have a chaser this time. I'm I know. Fine. It's no. like honestly. How many more episodes do you guys do today? Uh, we got another, and then that's it for today. I think. No, okay. we're on another podcast. Oh, and then we're going on fear end. <laughs> Damn, dude. All right. Well. Well, have fun out there, fellas. Thanks, man. And uh, I'll see you at Creator Clash. I won't see you. You but won't see me. Next time I'm in Austin for whatever reason. Yeah. All right. Do a flamethrower. Mm -hmm. Do a little tank action. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. yeah. Thanks so much, Chucklers, for listening. Thank you. Catch you later. Check out Brain Leak on uh, Spotify, YouTube, and yeah, everywhere. other everywhere. It's Check coming it out, out everywhere. soon, or it's already out and it just came out, and everyone's it just so came hyped. out, or it's coming out uh, tomorrow, or something like that. Thanks, so, guys. all right, catch you around. Bye. Bye.